<clears throat> hey guys, so uh, this, um, as, as you know, my phone is rooted, so I, uh, for the last week or so, I've been trying out different ROMs for, uh, ICS ROMs for my Galaxy Note. Um, as you know, this is a Canadian phone on the Rogers network, and most of the ROMs that are online right now are ripped from the AT&T ROM. But they're both uh, the i715, sorry, i717 model. Um, so they do work on the Rogers. Um, I've tried probably about three or four. The only issue I have right now is the caller ID does not work. Everything else works great except for the stock uh, default caller ID. So this is from the collective. Bring that in a little bit, and this is uh, this ROM is called the uh, the unofficial version two beta four. Um, I tried beta three, worked great, really had no problems with it, but I ended up going back to gingerbread because um, of the color ID. Uh, I actually tried three different ROMs this, uh, during uh, during the day, and uh, still the same thing. Uh, can't get into. Uh, I can't get the uh, color ID working so there is an app that I use for to get that color ID working it's called add a fix get it from the market and basically it jumps on jumps in uh, in between hey, actually here I'll use my Wi-Fi I, I groove IP it'll let it log in and then I'll call myself and then you'll see uh, that that uh, add a fix Okay, so we'll call. Oh, my number's there anyway. So now this is gonna come in. There it is. So that's my actual actual phone. As you see, it says unknown because that's the stock color ID. But that Adafix has come in and said that I'm calling. Sign of my contact. So we'll cancel that. So that's how I get around that issue. So it runs very smooth. Um, it, it doesn't have a lot of transitions, but the transitions that it does have uh, run smooth. Um, you can designate how many screens you want. These are this is your app drawer, downloaded apps, and you can change those also. And then all your widgets, different sizes, so on and so forth. Um, there's my weather. And my widgets like I usually have. Um, I do like the way the folders uh, work on on uh, ICS. Basically, you just basically you just drag and drop. Take Netflix, put it with that. You just created a folder. Top that, you can see them both. You can grab one. Oops. Let's try again. You can open that up, grab one, pull it out, and try again. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Leave it there, and it's good. Same with that. Games. And also with here on the dock, um, I like the dock too because you can designate, I think, up to five or six. can't remember. But maximum, you can fit seven icons on the on the dock. That's pretty cool. And same with your, your regular pages. If you drag and drop, you can also create folders on the dock. So that's pretty cool. So here I have my phone app, my uh, Groove IP, and my contacts all in one. So that's pretty slick. Scroll over here. This is all my multimedia stuff. This is the MX player. I like this because if you, let's say, all the controls are on the, on the front of the, or on, on board. So this is the volume on the right hand side. This is the brightness. You want to fast forward? You can just go this way. You go back, swipe this way, or you can actually toggle on the bottom. Yes, good. And if you click this right here, you can touch the screen everywhere, and it locks the screen for you. So I like that. So that that's called MX uh, MX Player, and that's the one I use most of the time. Um, that's about it. I did a uh, quadrant score test on this. Actually, I'll, I'll run it again. Let's see what happens. 
And we'll run this. I'm just going to let it run. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so we're back. It's just finishing up. The first time I ran this, uh, I got around 3,500. So we'll see what it has now. Okay, 3,462 for my device. So not bad. Um, I don't believe this is an overclockable, overclocked uh, kernel. So... Uh, but it, it runs quick. I really have no issues with the performance so far. Um, I don't have any. F I don't have. I can't actually recall of any force closing, uh, force closes. So uh, with any apps. So, uh, but then I haven't installed all the apps that I usually use yet. But uh, so far, it's pretty good. This is Palmary, P-A-L-M-A-R-Y Weather. Uh, I actually purchased it. If you tap that, you can go two day. 15 day airports go back and then you can also do another widget down here this is so this is a seven day uh, chart temperature chart if you tap that there goes the uh, seven day probability or precipitation chart percentage wise seven day precipitation chart and a seven day wind chart it's pretty cool humidity And if you tap it, it actually brings you to it. So it's pretty slick. What else do we have? Um, I'm using the Google, the Gmail widget. And this is the YouTube widget right here. So if you click any of these, click that, it'll fire up the uh, the stock the guys YouTube app. So that's very nice. Um, this is a picture widget. Um, I wish I had a setting where you could set it to rotate, uh, rotate the pictures. But uh, so anyway, you're probably wondering what this background, this live wallpaper that I, I have. What, uh, which one I'm running so we'll go to wallpaper uh, live wallpaper this one's called steampunk droid as you see there and it has quite a actually has for for the free version it has a lot of settings so I have a set too that uh, when you tap when you tap that it, it changes the theme so that's black and white theme green blue So once again, just to show you, we'll go to help. Oops. We go to system settings. About phone. Android 4.03. So that's ICS. And it's from the unofficial. And it's beta 4. So it's pretty nice I uh, I like it I haven't actually checked out all the stuff that it has so it's got enable ad blocking disable ad blocking so that's pretty cool install Netflix back rotation mod so it's got a bunch of stuff that you can actually install tether USB utilities okay what else we got CPU tweaks oh nice so it's got a sleep governor Sleep minimum, sleep max, nice. I have to check that out. Um, everything else looks pretty much the same, I think. One-handed operation, I don't have that enabled. I tried it before, it's okay. I find myself when I text, it's with uh, two thumbs anyway, so it's weird having a t text on a smaller screen because the one-handed uh, feature is on. But I really like this. Uh, YouTube, that's really slick. And my Gmail lock. You click that, screen turns off. That's it. Hope you like the video.